Good morning everyone and welcome to GSE at Home. My name is Celine and today we are going to be talking about how sound travels and we will even get to make our very own straw oval. Now sound is made up of vibrations or sound waves that we can hear. When for instance a guitar string is plucked, someone talks or there's a knock at the door, a vibration happens. This vibration causes the air molecules around where the sound was made to also vibrate. And those air molecules pass those vibrations onto other air molecules, causing the sound to travel. Now the sound waves enter our ear and cause our eardrum to vibrate. These vibrations are made louder or get amplified as they pass along our hearing organ in our inner ear. This organ helps to take those vibrations and translate them into electrical signals to send to our brain. Our brain then interprets those signals as sound. When a sound is vibrating slowly, the sound waves are more spaced out, so we hear a lower pitch sound. And when the sound is vibrating more quickly, the sound waves are closer together and we hear a higher pitch sound. I can demonstrate to you these different pitches today using this instrument. Do you know which instrument this is? It's a saxophone. A saxophone is really just a long metal tube that has holes along it that are covered up by these keys. I can create different sounds of different pitches by pressing some of the keys to cover up different holes. I can show you that on the saxophone, when I blow into the mouthpiece at this end, it makes the air molecules inside the tube vibrate backwards and forwards. If I press down all of the keys, that means that I have covered up all of the holes. And so the air molecules have the whole length of the saxophone's tube to vibrate in. So let's find out which type of note that will give us with all of the keys pressed down. That was quite a low pitch. The air molecules were vibrating slowly because they had the whole length of the saxophone's tube to vibrate in, which gave us a low sound. This time, I'm not going to cover up any of the holes. That means that there'll be holes further up in the saxophone. The air molecules can escape out of these holes and so what it does in effect is make the tube shorter. So let's see if that gives us a different type of note. What do you think will happen? Let's find out together. There we go, we got a higher note because the tube was shorter. Now I can also show you how sound changes going down the scale by holding in an extra key further down to see the different notes. So now it's time to make our very own instrument so that we can explore how this works. So now it's time to make our very own straw oboe. For this, you will need two straws. Any kind of straws work well, Paper straws seem to work the best for this. And you will also need some scissors. Now with our straws, we are going to push one end together so that it flattens it, leaving the rest of the straw nice and opened. So we want one flattened end like this. And then what we're going to do at the flattened end is cut the top into a triangle point. So take our scissors, cut down one end, and then do the same at the other. And we should then have something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, now with our other straw, we are going to cut that first to make it a lot smaller than what the straw before was. This should hopefully give us different pitches when we come to use our straw oval. As you can see, I have cut this one a lot smaller than the first one. Just like we did before, flatten one end of your short straw and then cut that triangle point just the same as our longer one. Cut down one end and the other. 
and there we go we have both of our straw obos ready to be used so let's try out our straw obos let's start off with the longest one put the pointy end in your mouth make sure that it's still quite flattened if not just give it an extra wee push down and then you want to blow as hard as you can now don't worry, it sometimes takes a good few attempts to be able to get a sound out of a straw oboe. So keep practicing until you get that sound. Let's give it a go. Didn't work first time. There we go, our low note with our long oboe. And let's try the shorter one. A much higher note. Now you can try this at home again. You could try losing lots of different sizes of straws and see how many different pitches you can make. If you do this experiment at home, please tag us on social media in any pictures or videos. We would love to see them. If you also have any questions or comments, leave them below. We will try our best to answer them. Thank you for tuning in to GSE at Home today and we'll see you all again next time. Goodbye.